हैप्पी इवनिंग सलाम वालेकुम नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू यू नो हाईलाइट एंड डिस्कस ऑन बांग्लादेश क्राइसिस व्हिच इज अ टेस्टिमनी टू डेमोक्रेसी द सडन फॉल ऑफ शेख हसीना आफ्टर 15 इयर्स इन पावर हैज जनरेटेड एन यूफोरिया रिलीफ एंड डिसबिलीफ इन बांग्लादेश व्हाट वेंट रॉन्ग एग्जैक्टली need to remember that nations building are always through student and youth movements the main hope of a nations lies in proper education and business opportunities and job creation for its students and youth before going deep dive we should know some numbers right so bangladesh is known as people's republic of bangladesh So it is the eighth most populous country in the world. Population is 170 million, and it is bordering India and Myanmar. And basically, the two major cities are Dhaka and Chittagong. Dhaka is having 10 million population, and Chittagong 3 million population, a port city. And till 1947, it was part of British India. 1947 to 1971 it was part of pakistan and it was known as east pakistan it got independent i would say bloody independent in 1971 however it started emerging as an economy which year to year has grown up but at the same time we need to understand few numbers and some statistics which is very very important gdp 446.35 billion dollars gdp in percentage term 6.5% as per asian development bank 2024 inflation is very high 9.89% you have a reserve you know negative 20 billion in 2024 government debt you know 40.7% of gdp current account negative 18.7 billion in 2022 and it has further decreased external debt is you know negative i mean 110 billion dollars so that's the number which you know bangladesh is carrying as a report card the first prime minister of independent bangladesh was you know sheikh mujibur rahman so he was the leader of awami league and he was the father of uh, uh, sheikh hasina so two prominent political output has emerged in bangladesh post independence so there are many political parties out of which bnp which is led by sheikh khalid azia and sheikh hasina from awami league so khalid azia was the prime minister twice and the last tenure was 2001 to 2006 hasina came into power fourth time in january 2024 and she was in power since 2008 which were widely seen as rigged and long authoritarian rule with widespread corruption at all level from peon to the highest level at at a government uh, offices so that has uh, taken a toll and that's the outcome of what is happening in bangladesh so bangladesh's human development index is 0.67 positioning 134th uh, out of 204 nations though the growth rate is high but it is uneven and inequality is very high in income generation growth story is on pen and paper it didn't match the ground reality there aren't better paying jobs in the countries you know working age population and it is large large working age population brazen corruption high inflation government inability to create new jobs because of its narrow focus in last july the cumulative frustration you know found an outlet when students began demanding an end to preferential quota system for government jobs which provide stability uh, that bangladesh private sector often doesn't once hasina sent the armed forces to quell the protest the bubbling frustration with system that failed to deliver boiled into rage against her violent continue to grip bangladesh with a report by a national daily that the death toll has crossed 560 plus students and others violent protest and relentless demonstration compelled sheikh hasina to you know leave the country and flee the country and leave the post 
her first destination was india but needs to wait and watch for her next move violent attacks among the minorities has been witnessed which is not only painful but it gives complete you know wrong signal and the world is condemning it uh, india needs to come up with its own thoughts and views towards bangladesh though india carries a very strong and good relationship over decades but the fellow bangladeshis they need to understand that you know it is a country's relationship it's not a relationship with awami league or with hasina right on 8th of august 2024 you know bangladesh has sworn in nobel laureate mr yunus as the advisor and interim head of the nation so he is pioneering in micro lending he is a social entrepreneur so there is a high expectation you know reform which needs to be come up which should be a market friendly but though it's an interim government so long term full fledged government will take place in near future so probably mr yunus will be working with its 12 13 member team to take it forward and give a complete you know satisfaction to the citizens of bangladesh on an interesting move the president of bangladesh has released the bnp leader khalida zia so that's a very very interesting you know political uh, change and turning point in the country and at the same time globally it needs to be witnessed that how khalida zia is coming up with her thoughts uh, from the bnp party and at the same time uh, the new gov- interim government under the leadership of yunus mr yunus how it will you know come up with market friendly uh, policies and reforms interestingly democracy is something that gives the weak the same change as the strong So thank you very much for listening this episode of regarding Bangladesh crisis see you soon with lot of you know trending issues and news thank you so much and have a lovely evening